Hey guys, it's Bear here, just to say that I know so many- This is the man. I'm like, hey, everybody. John Brink is here. Thanks so much for joining us for our 
first live event brought to you by Killcliff, the clean energy drink. Now, to say that we've been going through some tough times, God, I look blurry, man. I'm like looking at the, why do I look so blurry? Uh, it's just quality of webcam overall. I mean, it's not going to compare to like- I mean, the webcam like, is like this high, super high-end camera. Yeah, but you can't compare it for like example- Hey guys, it's Bear here just to say that I know so many people all around the world are going through such a tough time at the moment, you know, with uh, all of this coronavirus, whether it's people in China or people on lockdown. Or... Nope. Why does it look so shitty? They both look shitty. Uh, that one actually looks a little bit better. I don't know. Looks shitty to me. Is there like software or something to focus this? I mean, is there a software to focus this? What do you think? Or should I not worry? It just looks mm. really out of focus to me. Yeah, it should automatically focus on you. Uh, it doesn't have a little wheel on top, right? No. Oh, you want to know why? You want to know why? Wait. No? Yeah, it doesn't have. Wait, that does. This is why. Is this why? This is why. Fucking. Oh, no. Maybe try cleaning the lens. It might be dirty or dusty. Finally, in SEAL training, there's a bell. A brass bell that hangs in the center of the compound for all the students to see. All you have to do to quit, all you have to do to quit is... Man, that's got to be sharper than that. Why is it so not sharp? Go back to your uh, computer camera, see if it looks better on, on the software, on Zoom. Does it? No, the other one looks better, definitely. I mean, there's got to be a reason. Is there like software for this, for Logitech? Logitech does have its own little software for it to focus it. Does it? How do you get it? Um, I can't think right off the top of my head. So, But we can do this. Let me go ahead and line up everything, the, the order of the program. Okay. So that once that is taken care of, we can go ahead and touch this little uh, notch right here. Back, back, camera. Software. Lights, camera, capture, Logitech, Logic Capture, all in one content creation. I mean, it's like, I gotta be much sharper than this. We gotta figure this shit out. Fuck. All 
All right, we're gonna have to figure this out. All right, line it all up. All right, so it's gonna go. All right, so you got the main sequence. So yeah, again, so that was so we. We're coming to you. Where the fuck? Lower, lower third. Me, lower third. God, we got to get this camera sharper, dude. I don't know what's wrong. All right, so me, lower third here. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Let me not fast. Test, test, test. You see how it's like, like the camera's not focusing one way or the other. Yeah, it's supposed to do that. And those have the out of focus. I'm, if it's the one that I'm, I'm assuming, if it's the 920 models, they kind of focus on you and then they blurry out the background just a little bit. So it looks really cool. But it's not, but it's not. It's like the background is sharp. Look, like the monitor right here it looks sharp. Like it's focusing on the wrong thing? I think. All right. Anyway. All right. So it's me, then that. And we say, we're going to have a bunch of special guests tonight. And I want to introduce you. So I'm going to say, welcome, everybody. I got to write something really quick. Um, I'm going to say, um... Yeah, all right, let's meet our panel. All right, let's meet our panel. Let's meet our panel. All right, we're going to have some incredible people. First, I want to introduce you to the Navy SEALs who have been kind enough to join us. We have, uh, first, we have Andy Stump. So Andy Stump will be the first. Okay, hold on. Let me look, let me look at this lower third really quick. Make sure you have like camera for him and lower third ready for him. Right. And then he is live, right? He is not pre recorded. He's live, right? Yep. So, Andy. I think we probably will play. Bear Grylls up top. Why not, right? Before you, I mean, about being resilient. Before we do that, we want to hear a word from our good friend, Bear Grylls. Why don't we just play Bear Grylls? Let's do that. Hold on. Let me look for that content. That is a... So we can hear from him twice. Uh, that is media, right? That's what? Uh, Bear, Bear, he is Bear media. Grill should have two videos. Oh, okay. I know. And you want to play both? No, let's play just one of them up top. Hey guys, it's Bear here, just to say that I know so many people all around the world are going through so- I think if I had to learn one- Hey guys, it's Bear here, just to say that I know so many people all around the world are going through such a tough time at the moment. You know, with uh, all of this coronavirus, whether it's people in China or people on lockdown or in Italy, or you know, people who are suffering with the virus or, or loved ones who are, or just people who've had so much of their lives disrupted. Uh, but just to say, you know, tough times make tough people. Um, you'll get through this, we'll all get through this. Uh, we'll get through it together. Uh, but the message is, remember, the storms don't last forever. Uh, stay strong, uh, look after each other, make smart decisions, wash your hands lots, be careful of that. Uh, you know, big gatherings of people. Just stay maybe away from that for a while until this has passed. Uh, but above all, keep the spirit, you know, that never give up NGU spirit. Uh, that can conquer everything. 
and then back to you. Yeah. Can you like dissolve or put, we, uh, Brent gave you a bunch of wipes. Mm -hmm. Can you just put a wipe at the end? You have one of those Kill Cliff wipes. Yeah, let me add one. And, right now. and you can put a wipe going into it as well. Hey guys, it's Bear here just to say that I know so many people all around the world are going through such a tough time at the moment, you know, with uh, all of this coronavirus. Whether it's yeah, so that's one. And going to, sorry, uh, hold on, let me go back to here. So there's you, and then when you say him. Let's see Bear Grylls. Hey guys, it's Bear here just to say that I know so many people all around the world are going through such a tough time at the moment you know, with uh, all of this coronavirus, whether it's people in China or people on lockdown or in Italy, you know, people. Like the switch? And the, uh, can Bear. Hey guys, it's Bear here just to say that I know so many people all around the world are going through such a tough time at the moment. Hey guys, it's Bear here, just to say that I know so many people all around the world are going through such a tough time at the moment. Okay, so he goes first. Hey guys, it's Bear here just to say that I know so many people all around the world are going through such a tough time at the moment. You know, with uh, So you're gonna start with him first, not Andy anymore? Yeah, let's do Ant Bear Grills first at the top. And then let's go to all right, well tough time like Bear said, tough times make tough people. And it's time to introduce you to, to some incredibly tough folks. These are our good friends from the Navy SEAL community. Let's meet Andy Stump. Andy, tell everybody a little bit about yourself. For those who don't know, tell us a little about yourself. I'm Andy. I'm whatever. Make sure that you have. But I liked the, the Kill Cliff wipe certainly coming back. I think we're going to keep that one officially. Yeah. You, you have like some circle thing, but I'd rather it be the Kill Cliff branded one. Yeah, no, no. no. It should have been that one. That was probably it. Yeah, it's happened. There you go. Oops. Okay, assuming that's Andy. And after that, we're going back to you or a split screen. Oh, no, no, no. I, split screen going to Bear, Bear Grills. Split screen just going to Bear Grills. Uh, I mean, sorry, the Kill Cliff wipe in and out of Bear Grills. Hey guys, it's Bear here just to say that I know so many people all around the world are going through such a... Yep, so now we're back to you and then from you we're going to go to your first yeah. guest. Got it. Yeah, let's introduce... Um, actually, you know what? Let's introduce uh, John Timar. 
But John Timar first. So the first one should be John Timar. Okay. All right. Now it's time to meet everybody. Let's go to John Timar. The president of Killcliffe, John Timar. John, for those who don't know you, tell us a little bit about yourself. I think at that point, uh, just for and introduction, then, so and you then from go a little... John Timar, he's going to say whatever. Uh -huh. He's going to say, you know, and I, and he's going to be, yeah, you know, this is great. I'm going to say, all right, I'm going to say, next up, meet Andy Stump. Boom. Okay. So you can go from, I don't think you need that transition between, you can just cut. Okay. We'll just do transitions from videos. Gotcha. Andy or Stump. Like little segments. All right. So we are going to have John first, Andy second. Yep. Then uh, we go. So we go to Andy. Then we're going to go to Coleman Ruiz. Gotcha. Okay, then we're going to go to Coleman Ruiz. Then we're going to go to um, – let's just keep it at that. Timar, okay. Andy Stump, and Coleman Ruiz. Gotcha. All right, okay. so then you're talking with them. You're interacting. Talking with them. So I'm then going to talk to them, and we're going to be split screen, and I'm going to throw out questions right. and all that. Right, right. And then I'm going to, then let's play what video that YouTube video that you downloaded. Play that YouTube video. Finally in SEAL training, there's a bell. A brass bell that hangs in the center of the compound for all the students to see. All you have to do to quit, all you have to do to quit is ring the bell. Ring the bell and you no longer have to wake up at five o'clock. Ring the bell, and you no longer have to be in the freezing cold swims. Ring the bell, and you no longer have to do the runs, the obstacle course, the PT, and you no longer have to endure the hardships of training. All you have to do is ring the bell to get out. If you want to change the world, don't ever ever ring the bell. Finally, in SEAL training, there's a bell. Boom. Exactly that. Hey, everybody. John Brink is here. Blah, 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 blah. We're going to do an incredible segment. Hey, guys. It's Bear here. Just to say that I know so many people all around the world are going. And back to you. You got the uh, white back to me. And I'm like, all right, let's meet our panel. Let's meet the president of Killcliffe, John Timar. Yeah. And John comes in. Then, hey, let's – back to me. Then, hey, let's meet Andy Stump. And let's meet Coleman Ruiz. Yep. Okay. Um, then, uh, then we're going to talk, talk, talk. And then I want to play um, –
Then I think I, then I think I want to play. Um, Brian Callen, because then I'm, we're going to introduce Ray Lewis, Ryan Bader. Okay. And Would he be considered the surprise? Ray Lewis, um, Ryan Bader, and Robbie Lawler. Okay, let's One save it one more time so I can have them. So I got Ruiz. And I got, okay, so then the next ones you're going to introduce them in what order again? It's going to be uh, it's going to be Ryan Bader. Well, the, we're going to play the clip from uh, – we're going to play the clip from – now, let's uh, – I know what we do. Yeah, I want to kind of like separate it though. We're, we have a clip from uh, – I feel like we do the Navy SEALs, have them talk, talk, talk. We show Brian Callen, then we go to Ryan, then we go to, uh, Ryan Bader, Robbie Lawler, and Ray Lewis. And I'm gonna to talk to these three for a bit. Right. Sir. Um yeah, we're not gonna say new surprise guest, but I'm we're I, I think that I wanna put the Brian Callen piece. Yeah, I want to put the Brian Callen piece at the end of the Navy SEALs. All right, it's time to introduce you to some lead athletes. But before that, I wanted to bring in a clip from a really good friend of mine, Brian Callen. Okay, hold on. Let me program it right now. I had a chance to catch up with Brian Callen. Almost there. Almost there. Now, if I tell you, hey, we're going to skip over the Brian Callen thing and just get right to Ray Lewis, you can do that easy enough? Yep. yep. This is just so I can kind of have like a base gate guideline. And okay. I'm renaming as I go so that Whatever you're saying, it's easier for me to understand instead of the whatever default titles I have here. All right, Brian Callen clip. All right, Brian Callen, thank you so much for joining us. Listen, want to know from your perspective, what does resilience mean? Um, well, I think uh, a lot of times resilience probably means a couple of things. One is coming to terms with your own limitations. Coming to um, a way to make meaning of that limitation in your life. What are some lines on the left? What happened? Is the lower third? The lower third is on my face. See? Oh, you want me to put him on the other side? Yeah. Right to matches. All right, Brian Callen. Thank you so much for joining us. Listen. Want to know from your perspective, what does resilience mean? Um, well, I think uh, a lot of times resilience probably means a couple of things. One is coming to terms with your own limitations. Coming to um, a way to make meaning of that limitation. In your life, what are some tools that you have used? Because you've had to be incredibly resilient throughout your life and your career. Yes, well, so my favorite quote, and it's a quote by Michelangelo. Right, it's just going to be in the beginning, just to say hello. Yeah, but I, but I don't want the, to see the name Brian Callen with me on it. All right, Brian Callen, thank you so much for joining us. Listen, want to know from your perspective, what does resilience mean? Um, well, I think uh, a lot of times resilience probably means a couple of things. One is coming to terms with your own limitations. Coming to...
All right, Brian Callen, thank you so much for joining us. Listen, want to know from your perspective, what does resilience mean? Um, well, I think uh, a lot of times resilience probably means a couple of things. One is coming to terms with your own limitation. Coming to um, a way to make meaning of that limitation. In your life, what are some tools that you have used because you've had to be incredibly resilient throughout your life and your career. All right, Brian Callen, thank you so much for joining us. Listen, want to know from your perspective, what does resilience mean? Um, well, I think uh, a lot of times resilience probably means a couple of things. One is coming to terms with your own limitation. Coming to um, a way to make meaning of that limitation. In your life, what are some tools that you have used? Because you've had to be incredibly resilient throughout your life and your career. Yes, well, so my favorite quote and it's my favorite quote, and it's a quote by Michelangelo. And it's, um, notice how I say Michelangelo and not Michelangelo, I, I'm a time. But um, Michelangelo said, criticize by creating. So no matter where you are, man, there's an opportunity to create. And that's what I try to focus on. I try to look at this time as an opportunity. Every time I'm anxious, every time I'm worried about the world and the economy, I take that energy and I put it into what I'm supposed to be doing, which is making people laugh and writing stories, et cetera. Do you feel as though, in terms of overcome? So when he's done, going back to you. Yeah, show the wipe coming back to me. Coming back to me. We're probably gonna come back to me and Andy Stump. Because Andy's really good friends with Brian. I'm gonna say, Andy, what do you think about that? Okay. Hi, right, Brian Callen, thank you so much for joining us. Listen. And then back to you. Back to me, and I'm gonna say, all right, Andy, what do you think? Now, can you go split screen with Andy? Or do you need his video feed in order to do that, obviously? Yeah, but it will look something like this, so you and whoever Andy is, I'll just have right. to frame him. We definitely want to come back in. to Andy, to me and Andy. Um, Correct. Andy, Correct. What do you, so what do you think about what Callen had to say? All right, I'm gonna say, all right, I'm gonna have you guys take a break for a moment. Wanna bring in some elite athletes. We have Ryan Bader, MMA legend, Ryan Bader. Let me see. Current right, heavyweight. And he is live, right? Yep. Ray Lewis, NFL Hall of Famer. Let me go the other way. Say, Ray, thanks so much for joining us. Ray, what's his last name? Lewis. Gotcha. Right here. Say, so was first Ryan? Yep. Then Lewis. Ryan Bader, then Robbie Lawler, and then Ray Lewis. Oh, shit. Um, actually, in our first group, we needed to put – oh, no, 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 Ray Lewis, and we'll put um, John Dudley. Okay. In a worst case scenario where uh, you either switch somebody else or just you're peeping, seeing people as you see fit, I'm just going to be looking for last names and then that's all throw the lower thirds. 
Right, but you need it. Yeah, actually, put it John. Du put Ray Lewis. Say John Dudley, and then put Ray Lewis last. You know Dudley. Uh, yeah, but Dudley. I got Ryan, Blair, Dudley, Lewis. Yeah. All right. Okay. Then, um, then we're going to take those questions and then you should be able to go to anybody, right? I should say, Hey, Andy, yep. what do you think about that? And so once I introduce everybody, can you go to the shot of all of us? Right, right. So then I'll probably bring, I'll bring everybody in. What are you doing? Oh, yeah. So this will be the everybody shot. All right, and then at any point I have you, the guest, the split screen. Hey, hold on, I got a couple of people. Oh no, I have another John. Yeah, have him come in. Let me go ahead and admit him real quick. Ooh, that split screen doesn't look even to me. Yeah, no, no, no. Two different people, yeah. All right, I'll give him a second to connect. I'm going to use the restroom. Give me a minute. He's here. Yo. Yo, are you there? I'm here. I'm on camera. Can you see me? There you are. What's up, boss? I can see you. Can you see me? Yeah, just fine. I came home. I just got back, literally, and my right. freaking internet's down. I, you internet's know, they, down? They aerated my yard. I wonder if they cut my fiber line. So you're just connected via cellular? Yeah, 4G. That's all right. Just turn the phone the other way. It'll look better. Oh. I'm just eating my lunch right now, man. Come on. Yeah, man. Come on. Um, hey, so this is what I was thinking. What I'm thinking to say at the top, it's like, hey, everyone, yeah. I'm John Brinkus. Thanks so much for joining us for the first live streaming event brought to you by Kill Cliff, the clean energy drink. Boom. Okay. Yeah. Uh, live streaming event from Kill Cliff, the clean energy drink. To say we've been going through some tough times as a country is the ultimate understatement. Feels like this COVID crisis has sort of collectively knocked us down, and now it's time we get back up. It's time to be resilient. Now, Kill Cliff was founded by a Navy SEAL, and resilience is in our DNA. So we felt obligated to try to contribute some positive energy to the world. Tonight, you're going to get the chance to hear from some incredible people who have deep insights on how to be resilient. We want tonight's streaming event to hopefully serve as a body of work that can help you be more resilient. And there's no one better to help us give us some in to give us that kind of insight than Navy SEALs and elite athletes. But before we meet our panel of guests, I want you to hear some encouraging words from our good friend, Bear Grylls. Hit it, Bear. Do you like that? Yeah, I love that, man. Okay. Um, I think that's really good. I don't think there's any anything in there that people wouldn't get excited about. G you see Gene's email about all the distributors getting excited yeah. about the live stream? This is money, dude. That's a great intro. Uh, how you? There's no one to give us. Give us. I kind of insight. 
right, the Navy SEALs and elite athletes. All right. uh, am I am I going to play a clip around there? No. All right, so you got Tmar there. So Tmar, yeah, watch man, the, okay, uh, let's go to the very top. Uh, Are you fixing your hair, John? This I is what it looks like. My, you ripped off my look right there. Yeah. Yeah, look at this. All right, so go to the very top, Herbert. Herbert, this is John Tmar. He's the president of Kill Cliff. What's going John, on, Herbert? Pleasure. Good pleasure. Total douchebag. Don't listen to anything he says. <laughs> I throw people under the bus left and right. It's what I do. Left, I mean. <laughs> so, uh, all right, go to the top of the card. I was going to play. Finally, in SEAL training, there's a bell. A brass bell that hangs in the center of the compound for all the students to see. All you have to do to quit, all you have to do to quit is ring the bell. Ring the bell, and you no longer have to wake up at 5 o'clock. Ring the bell, and you... Finally, in SEAL training, there's a bell. A brass bell that hangs in the center of the compound for all the students to see. All you have to do to quit, all you have to do to quit is ring the bell. Ring the bell, and you no longer have to wake up at 5 o'clock. Ring the bell, and you no longer have to be in the freezing cold swims. Ring the bell, and you no longer have to do the runs, the obstacle course, the PT and you no longer have to endure the hardships of training. All you have to do is ring the bell to get out. If you want to change the world, don't ever, ever ring the bell. Finally, in SEAL training, there's a bell. Finally, in SEAL training, there's a bell. A brass bell that hangs in the center of the compound for all the students to see. All you have to do to quit, all you have to do to quit is ring the bell. Ring the bell, and you no longer have to wake up at 5 o'clock. Ring the bell, and you no longer have to be in the freezing cold swims. Ring the bell, and you no longer have to do the runs, the obstacle course, the PT and you no longer have to endure the hardships of training. All you have to do is ring the bell to get out. If you want to change the world, don't ever, ever ring the bell. which I, I guess isn't a bad thing. Um, well, so I was going to do this. I was going to say, all right, here's my intro. So listen to my intro again, John. I'm going to say, hey, everyone, John Brinkus, thanks so much for joining us for our first live streaming event from Kill Cliff, the clean energy drink. Now, to say we've been going through some tough times as a country is the ultimate understatement. It feels like this COVID crisis is sort of collectively knocked us down and feels like it's time for us to get back up. Time to be resilient. 
Now, Kill Cliff was founded by a Navy SEAL, and resilience is in our DNA. So we felt obligated to try to contribute some positive energy to the world. Tonight, you're going to get a chance to hear from some incredible people who have deep insight on how to be resilient. We want tonight's streaming event to hopefully serve as a body of work that can help you be more resilient. And there's no Perfect. one better to help give that kind of insight than Navy SEALs and elite athletes. But before we meet our incredible panel, I want you to hear some encouraging words from our good friend, Bear Grylls. Hey guys, it's Bear here, just to say that I know so many people all around the world are going through such a tough time at the moment. You know, with uh, all of this coronavirus, whether it's people in China or people on lockdown or in Italy, or, you know, people who are suffering with the virus or, or loved ones who are, or just people who've had so much of their lives disrupted. Uh, but just to say, you know, tough times make tough people. Um, you'll get through this. We'll all get through this. Uh, we'll get through it together. Uh, but the message is, remember, the storms don't last forever. Uh, stay strong. Uh, look after each other, make smart decisions, wash your hands lots, be careful of, uh, you know, big gatherings of people, just stay maybe away from that for a while until this has passed. Uh, but above all, keep the spirit, you know, that never give up, NGU spirit, uh, that can conquer everything. All right. That was great. Right. That's great, right? Yeah. All right. Like Bear said, tough times make tough people. And it's time to introduce you to some incredibly tough folks. First up, John Timar, president of Killcliff. Now you say um, something. What up? Hey, what's up, guys? All right. John, super humble guy, former Navy SEAL. What are you feeling about the times today? It's a challenging environment for a lot of people. People are going through adversity that three or four weeks ago, they had no idea they were going to be going through. So, you know, opportunities like this to, to learn from other people and, and take lessons from, from the circumstances that are occurring around you and, and, and pay that forward and roll it forward into opportunity, that's where we're going to try to help you do tonight. Awesome. Now, our next guest is another former Navy SEAL, from a former Navy, do you want me to say SEAL Team 6 or just former Navy SEAL, Andy Stump? No, I just say former Navy SEAL. Okay. People get hey. about. Say, hey, Andy, thanks for being with us. All right, ba ba ba. So we get Andy, and then I'm going to say, and we also have Coleman Ruiz. Coleman, thank you so much. And we're going to say, um, and then we're at Coleman. Now, my plan, John, and you tell me, this is what I need to talk out, was to only have you guys in a circle because you're all SEALs. And that's, do that for like 10 minutes. That's fine. I mean, sure. And Why not? What we, what we could do is say, all right, we have our first surprise guest. Hey, it's Ray Lewis. And we could bring in Ray Lewis like after like 10 minutes. Yeah, why not? Like that? Start out hot. All right, let's do that. Do you want to? Do you want to uh, put Ray in this first group? Um, yeah, I mean Ray's probably he's probably not going to be on the whole time, right? He's in and out. Probably. Probably. All right. So, uh, so um, Herbert, let's put in that surprise guest graphic. <laughs> And I'm going to say, we have our first surprise guest. It's Ray Lewis. Look who it is. Oh, it's Ray Lewis. Okay. <laughs> what up, Ray? Thank you so much for joining us. Ba 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 ba. Then I'm going to introduce, yeah, you know what? I don't think I'll divide them up. Wait, I, we'll just keep adding. Then I'm, going to, then I'm going to say, all right, we got our, and then uh, after Ray, let's go next surprise guest. I'm going to say, all right, we have another new surprise guest, Ryan Bader. Hey, 
<laughs> where's this? Where's the surprise guest? Yeah, we need the surprise guest thing. I just changed my mind. A little, <laughs> little thing. Guys, guys, it's Ryan Bader. Hey, Ryan. Great seeing you. Blah, 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 blah. We just talked. And I'm like, all right, next surprise guest. We got Robbie Lawler. Uh, and then we got John Dudley. He's a dog. See, we got Dudley. All right, this is our full panel. And now, and I'm uh, oh, so I wanted to play the Brian Callen clip. Let's uh, maybe you play the Brian Callen clip right after, um, right after Ray Lewis. Don't you think, Timar? All right, Brian Callen, thank you so much for joining us. Listen. Listen to the Brian Callen clip. Listen, I'm, a, I'm all ears. <laughs> all right, Brian Callen, thank you so much for joining us. Listen, want to know from your perspective, what does resilience mean? Um, well, I think uh, a lot of times resilience probably means a couple of things. One is coming to terms with your own limitation. Coming to um, a way to make meaning of that limitation. In your life, what are some tools that you have used? Because you've had to be incredibly resilient throughout your life and your career. Yes, well, so my favorite quote, and it's a quote by Michelangelo. And it's, um, notice how I say Michelangelo and not Michelangelo. I, I'm a time. But um, Michelangelo said, criticize by creating. So no matter where you are, man, there's an opportunity to create. And that's what I try to focus on. I try to look at this time as an opportunity. Every time I'm anxious, every time I'm worried about the world and the economy, I take that energy and I put it into what I'm supposed to be doing, which is making people laugh and writing stories, etc. Do you feel as though in terms of overcoming obstacles and pressing on when things are extraordinarily challenging, we clearly, as a nation, are in a moment that is more challenging than perhaps any moment in history because of the uncertainty. Does your thinking change versus a time when things are super easy? Look, man, um, I don't think anything's ever supposed to be easy. That's why I can't relax, but that's okay. That's just my own, my own, uh, uh, let, let me give you an, a, met, a metaphor. I did this interview and they said, do you have any advice? I said, hey, dude, I, I got probably seven yeses, seven significant yeses out of the 25 years of no. I sat in traffic for almost all my 30s hearing the word no, going from audition to audition, waking up in the middle of the night and going, I'm 38, I have no job, I'm a failure. I'm 41, I have no job, I'm a failure. I'm 42, I have no job. I'm 43, I'm doing a recurring, but I'm nowhere near where I thought I'd be, et cetera, et cetera. Now I am, I suppose, successful at 53. Look, if I were to throw a rock, and I'm serious about this metaphor, if I were to be standing outside and I threw a rock at every sparrow that flew by, every sparrow for 25 years, every day I did that. I would hit, what do you think? I'd hit maybe, would I hit one a month, one a week? Would I, would I knock one, one a month out of the sky? Maybe I would. After 25 years, I'd have a lot of sparrows on my wall. I might even be able to cover every wall in my house with sparrows. And you'd come to my house and go, dude, how'd you kill all those sparrows? And I'd go, I knocked them out of the sky with a stone. <laughs> And you'd be like, How, how'd you get that accurate at throwing rocks, dude? You must be amazing at throwing rocks. And you must be the best rock thrower in the world. And I'd go, yeah. And I'd just let you think that. But what you didn't see was I was throwing rocks 
over and over at every sparrow that flew by. So it's not that big of an accomplishment. Oh, I'm successful as an actor after 25 years. It takes a brain surgeon 10 years, 10 years to become a full-fledged brain surgeon. Right. So Brian, just leave us with some words of encouragement about, yes, we're in a difficult time. Yes, we need to be resilient. What do you see happening? This too shall pass. And um, it's up to you to, to not only make some meaning out of this, but to adapt. And if you understand that and you accept that the road will be bumpy, that's a good mindset to have. And don't worry, there is a way to navigate any situation. Did you grow when the chips were down? Did you, did you gain deeper understanding? Ask yourself those good questions. Thank you so much, Brian. Really appreciate it all. God bless you, and congratulations on your success. We will prevail. <laughs> yeah, God bless America. <laughs> that was great, man. So he's awesome, right? Yeah. So he's awesome. All right, guys, what do you think about what Brian had to say? <laughs> Uh-oh, we froze up. No. Yeah. Did I freeze up? No. It's your end. Are you there, Timo? I, I, I think my fiber might have some problems. Yeah. Are you there? I hear you just fine. All right. Hey, uh, when do yeah, you I'm think here. we should play the Callan clip? Should we first introduce Ryan and Robbie and have the whole panel and then play Brian's clip and have everyone react? Yeah, I, I'm thinking maybe there's going to be some conversation that ensues when you have um, the group of team guys talking amongst themselves and then you introduce uh, Ray. And there'll be a couple interesting conversation points that are going on that when you introduce people, you might be able to say, hey, so what do you think, Ryan? Now you're in this conversation. Um, and then take a break and say, hey, you know, Callan had something to say about this. And then bring – I think we could use Callan as ammo to fuel a conversation. Yep. Do I mean, you think I, I should I introduce everybody I like, first so that everyone's in it and then we play Callan's clip? Yeah, I think that's great. I mean, the right. point you made about adaptability, I think, is a really key thing because nothing's linear. And, you know, that's, I think that's the, the sort cool. of like core DNA of resilience is being able to adapt. Okay. Um, so, um, so put the, uh, the Callan clip at the end after, just be flexible. Just know I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to call for it, but I'll probably call for it after we speak to John Dudley. Okay. Got it. All right. And that puts Brian like way in it, but it's fine. All right. So you got the new surprise guest we'll use to introduce every single person after we're going to talk to Andy Coleman and John first for a little bit. And then yeah. I'm gonna say first surprise guest. Hey, look, it's Ray Lewis. Right. That's going to be cool, so every, dude. Absolutely. So everything you say is surprise guests. Uh, that's my cue for you yep. the for each person part. after um, Coleman. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to say, hey, it's Ray Lewis. I hope. I mean, he may not call in. Yeah, if he doesn't, you can drop Callum and introduce some people and drop the one piece as a talking point. Yeah, I was going to use Callan after we introduce everybody, unless you want me to do it sooner. You there? I'm here. All right. And I was going to do a uh, – so then I was going to do um, – so I guess we just introduce everybody. What do you think are some key questions, John? All right. Well, if we think about the circumstances, you know – um, I believe part of the struggle we we're going that's going on today has to do with. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out my internet situation. Um, has to do with you know, there, lots of people are losing their jobs, right? Lots of people are, there's some people losing loved ones, or some people getting sick. Uh, so I think I think it's one of the things is you know how do you keep a how do you keep a positive outlook? I think that's right. 